Hi guys, welcome to another video. So for this week itself, um, my apologies that I didn't uh, wasn't able to release this video earlier during the weekend. So it's still not too late, alright. Today is Wednesday, so it's still considered a midweek, alright. Um, and I'd like to share with you some of the focus for this week itself, alright. So you can see that on Tuesday itself, we do have um Tuesday and Wednesday, right? Um. Basically, this morning as well, what we see is all of this economic data release is pretty bearish overall. All right, uh, but let me bring you to the focus for this week. So the focus of this week is really on Thursday, all right, or I would say Wednesday meet after midnight. So on two a.m. right, there's FOMC statement and followed by four a.m. the RBNC rate statement as well. So this is really the focus for this week itself. Right, the dollar as well as the New Zealand pair in overall. Right, so let me bring you to to some of the charts um that I've I've actually published on Trading View already. Um, right, mainly I do not have the time to push out um this video, but what I want is also to share with you some of the ideas that we have overall. Right, so let's take a look at the New Zealand chef, right, which is the first pair I want to bring you through. So the focus is really on New Zealand. So what we what we identified on the four hour time frame is that we do have a double top, right, with an RSI divergence, right, and we have identified that overall, all right, it's still in an uptrend, and the previous structure is somewhere around here, all right, and if you pull in Fibonacci, you do see some confluence, right. That's why we have a potential bullish structure set up over here as well. So what I stated over here is that we have a double top divergence completed, right? Um, traders who are counter trend, right, and are more aggressive, can can potentially you know make use of this opportunity to short the market, and expect that it retrace back to its previous structure, right? And that's where we look for a potential buy, right? So personally, I'm not the not the very aggressive kind in terms of trading the counter trend, so I don't usually just take a double top divergence trade. So let me play forward and see what happens after my analysis. All right, um, all right. You can see that price makes a new high. All right, but RSI prints a lower low. All right, it didn't manage to make a new high. So what we are in and anticipating is that uh, price will continue fall. All right, towards the bullish structure before we look for a potential entry to long it. All right. Having said that, um, what can what can price do is that price can. You know, from here straight away boom up, or it can come down and you know even break our structure. So that's 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 the thing about trading, right? You would never know, but what you can do is you can be prepared, all right, and respond to various situation. So there's one potential pair that you want to take note of, all right, in the New Zealand Swiss franc. The next one that I want to bring you through is the Euro Kiwi, all right. So this pair is pretty interesting because uh, later in this part of the video, I would like to share with you how we manage one of the trade um, on this pair as well when uh, the EZB press conference last week, all right? So before we jump into that on trade review, I would like to share with you some of the opportunities that you have on this pair itself. So if you look at the overall trend, it's still going down, all right? And you can see price is forming a lower low and a lower high. So what we what we, what we figured, all right, or, or not figured, or Analyze all right. What we analyze over here is that price seems to form a little bit of a structure over here, and then so what we are anticipating for this pair is that price to continue retrace all right up towards its previous structure, right? Which we have identified a bearish structure. So what we want is uh, should price comes up over here, we will be looking for a potential short entry. All right, targeting our previous level uh, for TP1 and of course TP2, normally we use the 127 extension. So let's take a look at what's happened for this pair, all right? You can see that even if, right, for this pair, what you're seeing now is that is a potential, or I would say double bottom, right, with RSI divergence as well. All right, once again, for aggressive trader, perhaps this is something that you, you might be interested to look at, right, for counter trend, right, trading back into the previous structure before writing a con uh, continuation trend setup. All right, the last one I want to bring your focus into is the dollar index, all right. So the, the US dollar is really one of the focus as well, and if you look at the dollar index, this is on the daily time frame, all right, so it's way higher time frame. What you do see is... It is in a consolidation, all right. Whether you are looking at the symmetrical triangle, all right, in the recent one, 
or even if you draw in a uh, upper boundary and lower boundary it is in a consolidation phase all right and right now at this moment all right when we did the analysis which is uh, yesterday what we what we see is that price is currently testing right the high of the downtrend line so if you are a trader who trades price action pattern, right, for example, triangle, or even you are trading in consolidation, the upper boundary and the lower boundary, this is something that you might be interested in looking at, right? And fundamentally, it seems that um, the rate hike might not happen so soon, all right? So this might give traders a, a bearish sentiment with the dollar, which is in line with the overall technical analysis that we have over here, right? So I'm not sure if there's any update. All right, so not much movement. All right, price is still t um, testing on the high of the boundary. So traders who who are trading this kind of setup in your trip plan, this is something that you want to take note as well. All right. So that's that's the that's the three pairs that I want to bring you um, in focus for this week. All right. But let me jump into some of you know some educational stuff that I would like to share with you as well. All right. So. Uh, I haven't published this post, alright. Um, I wanted to do that yesterday, right? But uh, I I was taken into some other matters, so didn't really have time to finish this post. So I'll update it today and push it out, right? But what I was thinking is that since I'm doing this video um, right now, why not I just share a little bit more on on the review, alright? And then if you are more interested, you can then take a look into the post after that, alright? So the three things that I would like to share with you. In this week, right, it's really on, on these three, three things, all right? The first one is on a trade review of how we manage our trades, all right, before ECB, all right? The second thing is, um, well, we hit our official 100 trade milestone for our official trading account, which we publish it on, on this website as well, on our blog, all right, the FXP Research blog, to really share with traders out there and show them, you know, um, our performance and and you know, the signal service that we send out, we do trade them ourselves as well, just that the management might be different. All right, and the last news that I would like to really share with you is that um, one of our clients, all right, doubled her account in October itself, all right, and she she did send in her statement, so later I can show you some of the, the things and what is the learning point behind this as well, all right? The idea is, you know, making money is great, all right, but what is the factor or what are the lessons that, you know, you, you should take away or even for her herself, right? Um, we shared with her, right? We did the review and, and some things uh, that she didn't did it properly, all right? So this is this is things that I would like to share with you more in this video as well, right? So it's more on the educational aspect of it. So the first part is really on, on the trade review that we did on Euro New Zealand, all right? So for those who are following us, um, you know, in this blog or even for the clients, you know that last week was exceptional, all right? We have a total of 42 potential setups over the weekend. So then, you know, the question comes in, you know, how we manage them, are we going to select all of them and such. So I, I did write a post on, you know, how we manage our psychology and traits when we face with all this situation, all right? So if you haven't read onto that, um, in this post, there'll be a link as well. All right, so one, so so after discussing with some of our trading partners, all right, um, it's a, once again, you know, my privilege to have people around me who is passionate about trading as well. That's where we can bounce ideas and discuss. All right, so one of the management technique that we decided to do is, since we're already on the Euro New Zealand, all right, and and before the ECB ECB press conference come in, all right, we are already in a a profit. That means. Uh, the direct the, the the pairs itself is already moving in our favorable direction. So what we did was uh you know I was I was just discussing and, and thinking top of my mind and say that you know euro sentiment, the fundamentals of euro is still weak. And this is in line with the technical setups, all right, that we are in. So we are basically shorting Euro New Zealand. So we I was just thinking, you know, the usual TP1, maybe what we can do is because ECB is happening soon and we have sufficient buffer from our entry. So what we what I wanted to do is to move my stop loss, all right, to break even and to shift my target to the extended second TP. Alright, so this is this is this is something that um, is not part of the plan, but you know, when, when fundamentals and technicals align together, this is something that we would want, all right? Why not? So then um, let me show you some of the screenshots that 
that I had with, all right, so I was saying that, uh, you know, since we're already in, let's see if we can continue higher after today, ECB and uh, is expected. Okay, um, okay, maybe it's the other screenshot first, all right. Yes, so this is the, the first chat that we had, all right. I was I was just discussing with Lester, right, one of my partner. He said that, um, so I basically, you know, dropped the idea. Shall we consider remove TP on Euro New Zealand and write the trend for ECB later? All right, then he just, you know, bouncing ideas, right, um, things like that. All right, and you can see some of the chats of how we actively manage our last week position, right, mainly because we have a lot of setup. So you can see there's a lot of active management, you know, exceeded AU at BE, move stop loss, right, to protect our capital and, and such, all right. So the idea over here is how you can actively manage your trade and this active management, it's sometimes, all right, or I would say most of the time, right, might be even more important than your entry itself, all right. And then, of course, the idea is, uh, you know, um, this part right the euro sentiment being bearish right the idea is that right see see the idea is that why we want to encourage a certain community trading or even you know find your trading partner is because you can bounce ideas and sometimes when you miss out on certain things right that's where your your other community members or even members step in to remind you all right where Lester mentioned over here do not interfere too much all right or else it's very difficult to track the system performance so these are the things that um, if you do not have two person bouncing ideas and, and different perspective, right, you might miss out on all this thing or even if you know about it, you might forget about it. So these are some of the things that um, I, would, I would like to share with you, right, how to manage your trade and the importance of having a partner or even community, right. And then of course, if you look at this, um, this is a screenshot that on my FX book, all right, our New Zealand, Euro New Zealand trade. So we took it on around around 21st October all right there's some drawdown for this trade itself but eventually it rolled over on the 23rd all right when the EZB press conference took place all right so this is one of the lessons or, or review that you know I thought this is very important to share with you guys as well and hopefully you can take something uh, or two out of this sharing with you all right the next thing I want to share with you is hitting our 100 trade milestone all right so this is something that uh, this account we started back in June this year to officially track our signals as well as uh, to show people uh, that it can be done, all right, trading. So we had reached our 100 trade, right, for this month, which is October. So something that, uh, well, I guess a mini celebration from our end, all right. And the last thing that I want to share with you on uh, in this video, right, is a little bit long for now. Uh, it's really about how our client, right, uh, how 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 we feel that you know we 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 are really great that and pleased for her that finally she managed to do something all right. So let me walk you through some of the the experience that she had is that, um before before she joined us, uh, she's basically trading on the own own already, all right. But um there's some techniques they are not right as such right. So so that's where she came to us and then um decided right. Well, let's do this together. So we taught her some of the techniques, the proper way of engaging the market and managing the risk. All right, and it's really great that um, to see her finally perform. All right, so let me show you some of the statements. All right, that she sent it to us. So I've I've hide the name. All right, so that uh, you wouldn't want to. Yeah. For privacy issue, all right. So what you see over here in her account is that all her sizes are in standard and standard lots, all right. One and two standard lots. But if you look at her her equity or her capital, right, starts with five thousand dollars. So if you look at this, um, definitely, right. If you are if you are those, uh, I would say more conservative trader, this is definitely over position. Right, oversized position. So this is what we shared with her as well, right? So yes, you make money, all right, but what we want is in the long run, are you able to repeat and replicate this process? All right. And if you are doing over leveraging, over position sizing, this is very um dangerous and risky in the financial market, all right, because it can you can be profitable in one month, right? Mainly because you know just that 
uh, the market is kind to you, right? But not all the time it is. So that's where your risk management and money management is very important. Right, so this is one thing that we shared with her as well, right? Definitely oversized, right? But the great thing that I'd like to share with you is that um, basically she did this, this whole trading performance, right? It's simply based on, she did her analysis on the weekend, right? And then after that, she key in her trades on Monday. And basically that's it, all right? So that's the effort that she has put in and you can see how trading need not be be too you know like too hectic or even taking up too much of the time all right it simply is you analyze the market all right and then you put in your orders and then just set and forget and let the trade do it work do its do their work themselves all right so this is this is something that i would like to share with you um that once again trading can be done all right you just need to have the proper education and the right technique in engaging it Right, so uh, let me show you the detailed statement as well. Right over here is um, you can see how many trades. So she made a total of nineteen trades. All right, this is over a two month. Uh, sorry, two weeks period. Right, in total she made a nineteen trades. So you can see uh, consecutive losing trade is two. So this is not too bad. That means the market is pretty kind to her. This two week itself. Right, and you can see right at the start. She did make a slight dip, all right, but after that, the the whole equity curve is in the upwards direction. Not all the time you experience this in trading, all right. Even for ourselves, it's not all the time in the upwards direction. That's why we really focus and and let her know that you know, it's not just the money that you made, all right. Whether you double your account. Um, make 50% return, 10% return. The idea is to be consistent and prudent in your trading in such a way that you can succeed in the long term, right? And definitely not just in a two weeks period, right? So this is some of the things that uh, I hope through this sharing, right, really you can get out some of the educational aspect and apply them in your own trading, all right? Other than that, um. This video is a little bit long, so I'll just keep it short, all right? If you, once again, if you like and enjoy this video, right, do like and subscribe to our channel, all right? And feel free to share with your friends who are trading as well. And should you have any questions or any particular pair that you would like to gain different insights or perspective, feel free to drop us, you know, below the comments or even email it to me, all right? Or even on Facebook, uh, if you have connections right feel free to message me etc all right other than that i'll see you next time and do once again right we have major news coming in today so have fun trading and trade safely